after the carpet bombing by opposition in the Colgate scam, Congress finally seems to have decided that defense will be the best form of defense and that perhaps explains the brazen defense that's been offered by the party against charges of nepotism against its minister. Well, this is tourism minister Subodh Khan Sahai himself failed miserably to put up a convincing defense when faced with first concrete charge of wrongdoing in coal block allocation and his admission of a role in helping his brother's company, SKSS Park, has given more ammo to the BJP. So, if we eagerly write a letter to them, then I don't think that there is any power in it. We will do it for the top of the company, and if we have a chance to do it for our king's government, then we will do it. अगर उनका भाई है तो क्या उसको ये अधिकार नहीं है कि वो पावर प्लांट लगाए अगर वो रिपोर्ट ये कुछ कहती है उसके बाद उस पर बहस शुरू होनी चाहिए अभी कोई बहस करने का कोई मतलब नहीं है सैकड़ों लोग कहने लग पड़े हमें अपने आप आप बिना किसी आधार पर दे दो और एक सौ बयालीस कोल ब्लॉक मनमानी के माध्यम से दे दिए गए और कारण ये बताते हैं कि भाई मुझे देश में आर्थिक विकास करना था विकास करने के लिए कोयले की आवश्यकता है For Sahai's weak defense has landed the PMO in a spot where the Prime Minister's office needs to explain now is whether it was aware that the Minister's brother was a director of SK at Ispart Limited and that he was part of the screening committee. Of course, for Subodh Khan Sahai's resignation has grown with charges of nepotism, conflict of interest and willful suppression of facts being hurled at the Minister. And let's now take you through what really are the Prime Minister's options should it let Sahai take the fall and distance itself from the decision or sideline him till the next cabinet reshuffle. Either way, it seems to be a lose-lose situation for the Congress and the government so far. I like